Okay, so I also uh, uh, asked them to make a video, but my uh, main message is the video should be a uh, much low barrier. Everybody should do it, all faculty should do it, all students should do it. And we shouldn't treat the video as like we always have to make a Hollywood star movie. The video should be just like playing piano. We should always practice video. This is because I think a video recording of student work is the best way to think, to, to see their thought process, analyze the problem. Oh, by the way, my name is Hong Jinfang, University of Tennessee, I shut up, okay. So, <laughs> okay, uh, this is my main message. Uh, I had taught, uh, I, I was trained about physics, I taught in computer science and biology, oh, I'm missing my data science course, so I, in all my courses, I require students to use video for their, to complete their assignment. Either it's the genetics, microbiology, uh, computational biology, data science, Java, Python, algorithm. So I used to do this. I give a lecture, uh, talk about principle. Oh, this is not moving. Oh, uh, I gave a lecture, talk about the uh, uh, principle, then go over data analysis. This is me doing this. But uh, isn't, and then I thought, if I ask a student to do this, maybe at least the student tutor will work better. And the, the other student look at a, a, another student tutor, it's become also more persuasive. So this is actually a student doing this. Uh, this is actually doing in class. So most, all my videos are doing uh, uh, live. Uh, well, some of them, uh, 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 but this one is recorded live in class. So uh, uh, I'll just quickly go over it. So, so I do this, and this is a student doing this. And the uh, effect, the student connect much better to their peers than to my video. And also the help student going over the the, the process. There are also many advantages of doing this, especially with this online education. When student finish the homework, if they have a problem, how do I help the student? And the student can send me their video recording, and I look at the screen, the video. I can circle where the problem is and tell the student that's your problem. And this is another example. This is actually a Java coding problem. And I look at the video, you find out it's not about Java, it's actually about Windows. So, <laughs> well, Windows had problem. <laughs> so, there, yeah, it's, it's a very effective way for me to solve the student problem, uh, especially with, with uh, 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 now, with, uh, in my, in my uh, current college, many of the students actually have to work, and they often have to take the class uh, remotely. And the common tool I use is the YouTube uh, live stream. But nowadays, is, uh, uh, if you Google uh, open source free screencast software, you will get the top 10 and plus many others. So. Uh, <clears throat> and this just something, uh, oh, uh, I can do this slide to show how easy it is. So uh, this is how I often do this in class. Uh, live, uh, new event, and then we can just say, I think live now. Okay, uh, ready to go? Oh, I blocked my camera so you won't see me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but you can actually, I just share the screen, share my entire deck screen, present to everyone. Oh, by the way, that's recursion. That's my, uh, my example to show students the recursion. Then start broadcasting. There. So, and then if I turn back, you can actually see that it is recording. And those are some student examples. Uh, this is the algorithm bucket sorting. And this is the genetics and student working through the uh, pedigree, explain the probability of a child having a disease. And that's the, well, our data and as you are, they show this. This is the Unix. Uh, uh, exercise student actually, in this case, using XCD San Diego high performance computing cluster. Uh, I'll just. Yeah, this is, uh, uh, yeah, this is this actually done when I was uh, still at Spelman. And that's a golden cluster from San Diego. So, 
this is probably my best work <laughs> opportunity. I think using video in data science education is a challenging and opportunity. And undergraduate and faculty PhD should also do it. Uh, <laughs> and uh, we actually have an NSF uh, uh, grant to support faculty to do this. And this year we have uh, two computing boot camps. That's the link for application and I'll stop here. Thank you. <laughs>